Hey. The beat go off? Hey. Hey. I up it, then my heat go off? Bang. Y'all already know what season it is, man. Today, man, I got something y'all didn't even know y'all needed yet, man. I know y'all be getting clamped up in my career sometimes, so I'm finna help y'all out with that. I'm gonna tell y'all the players to stay away from. So if there's players that's your position or you think he might guard you in the game, you might as well just send that game and go on to another game, man, because it'd be a, a whole lot easier for you and it'd make your life a whole lot easier. Starting with the Philadelphia 76ers, we got Robert Covington. While Robert Covington, he's 6'9". He's a 6'9", small forward, slash shooting guard. He has the badge. Defensive stopper, chase down artist, pick dodger, and pick pocket on goal. If they have defensive stopper on goal, stay away from them. Not to mention they have Joel Embiid. So if you're a center, I mean, he has rim protector on goal. If you're a slasher, you might not want to go down there. You might not want to play against the 76ers because they do have some defense. Up next, we got the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis, definitely stay away from him. It's like... Super hard to get a, get around this dude for some reason. I mean, he is 6'11". Then he has defensive stopper. Then he got chase down artist on goal. Then he got pick dodger. You can't get around him, bro. I don't care what difficulty you're playing on. You cannot just go around him on this game. And not to mention they got Eric Bledsoe. But that he's not that he's not he's not the same, bro. It's Giannis is the problem. So if you're a small forward, power forward, or he's gonna guard you, stay away. Chicago Bulls, man. Y'all can go ahead and play them. They really ain't got nobody that I'm just too concerned with. Uh, the Cavs, go ahead and play the Cavs too. I'm not really concerned with the Cavs, man. I'll play the Cavs. The Celtics, now, they do got Al Horford and Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown is 6'7", but he has the badge on defensive stopper. Even though it's on bronze, well, he has defensive stopper on bronze, my bad. But even though it's on bronze, he still be clamping me up for some reason. So, I'm going to stay away from him, man. Then they got Al Horford. You know he probably got rim protector on goal. So, if you're trying to go in there and be a slasher, keep that in mind with defensive stopper on silver. So, I mean, go in there at your own risk. That's all I'm saying. I just know I'm not. I'm, I'm staying away from the Celtics, man. That's me. The Clippers. For some reason, they got a lot of defenders out here, man. Like, no lie. Patrick Beverly. Point, if you a point guard, stay away. He got the clamps, man. He got a defensive stopper, pick dodger, pick pocket. Stay away. He's a lockdown defender. Look at look at the archetype right there. Lockdown defender. Luke Mbamute, elite defender. Defensive stopper, go. Pick Dodger, go. Stay away, man. Don't waste y'all time with the Clippers if, if these are your positions. Avery Bradley, defensive stopper, pick Dodger. Lockdown defender. They got basically three lockdown defenders, man. Stay away from the Clippers unless you're a center, man. That's all I got to say. If you're a center, power forward, maybe. But uh, the Grizzlies, bro. Yeah, I'm playing the Grizzlies. I'm not concerned with the Grizzlies. I'm playing them. The Hawks, I'm playing them as well. I'm not concerned with the Hawks. Now, keep in mind. When you're in my career, people do get traded and stuff. So you might go out to check the teams because I'm in my second season and these teams aren't the same anymore. You know what I'm saying? They're not the same. The Miami Heat, I'm playing them as well. I'm not simming that game. The Hornets, I'm playing the Hornets. Now, like I said, I'm a shooting guard. So I'm only staying away from lockdown defenders, shooting guards, and uh, defensive stopper shooting guards, basically. And maybe some small force if I think they'll play shooting guard, but that's it. Uh, the Jazz. Now, the Jazz, you could play them. I know Ingles got some D. He got it on bronze. I ain't worried about that. But if you're a slasher or a center, Rudy Gobert, defensive stopper, go. Brick wall, go. Uh, rim protector, go. Chase down Artie Silver. He's going to lock the paint up. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Do not waste y'all time trying to go down there. He blocks everything. Everything he's blocking down there. So go down there at your own risk, man. I just know I'm not going down there. There's no need for me to go down there. I'm not even a slasher. Don't matter. Uh, Kings, I'm playing the Kings. Simple as that. Knicks, definitely playing the Knicks. I'm, I look forward to playing the Knicks. The Lakers, I'm on the Lakers. I do not have to worry about LeBron James or anybody on this team. But LeBron James does only have defensive stopper on silver, although I still would not play him because he's strong. It's hard to get around him. Chase down artists on Hall of Fame. So if you think you're going to get an easy fast break layup, don't think, you better think twice about that, man. That's all I got to say about that. I'm on the Lakers. That's not my problem. The Magic, I'm playing the Magic. He's a lockdown defender, though. Pickpocket, we still playing the Magic. We ain't worried about him. It's not on goal. The Mavericks, I'm playing the Mavericks as well. But like I said, the taller the guards, the harder it is to get around them. But we playing the Mavericks. We, we're definitely playing the Mavericks, man. The Nets, of course we're playing the Nets, man. They, ain't nobody going to stop me on the Nets. The Nuggets, playing the Nuggets too, man. Playing the Nuggets. They ain't got the, like I said, bro. They ain't got defensive stopper on goal or silver. Or they ain't just got certain players that maybe not have the badges that still got them clamps. But, you know, those are few and far in between, you know. 
Victor Oladipo. Now he's six four, but he got the badges. Chase down artist, defensive stopper, pick dodger, pick pocket. Now pick dodger, man. Do not sleep on pick dodger because you think he's gonna go in there and set a pick. He's he's dodging all the picks, bro. Is you're not gonna set a good pick on him. He's gonna clamp you up. Simple as that. Now you might can shoot over him, but that defensive stopper is gonna drop all your badges, man. So I'm staying away from the Pacers because you know I am a shooting guard. So I'm staying away from Victor Oladipo. Drew Holiday. And Anthony Davis, bro. Drew Holiday has the clamps on this game. I don't know if many of y'all know this, but he has gold defensive stopper, gold pick dodger. He has the clamps. Not to mention Anthony Davis is backing him up with gold rim protector, uh, defensive stopper, silver. Yeah, bro. Stay away from the Pelicans if you're a point guard, power forward. Pistons. Personally, I'm playing the Pistons, bro. I'm not. I'm not fretting from the Pistons, man. Raptors, Kawhi Leonard, <clears throat> Danny Green. Now, you know if you are a small forward, you do not go against Kawhi Leonard. He is the only player on the current NBA roster to have defensive stopper on Hall of Fame. This is the most overpowered badge in the game. Why is it the most overpowered badge in the game? Because it's the only badge that can drop your badges, basically make it seem like you don't even have badges anymore. He has that on Hall of Fame. So if you got a Hall of Fame badge, you might as well not even have no badges no more. Then he got Pick Dodger, of course. Then he got Pick Pocket, of course. Then he, man, what else we got, man? You know what I'm saying? But then, then he's 6'7". He got hands. Lateral quickness. Hold on. Let me go ahead and go a little bit more detail on him for y'all. See, for y'all think y'all shouldn't try to play Kawhi in there, bro. Because he has the clamps, bro. He has the clamps. Hands, 98. He's still in everything. Uh, let's go ahead on. On ball defense, 97. Low post defense, we ain't worried about that. We're not a post player. Pick and roll IQ, 97. Help defensive IQ, 97. Defensive consistency, 98. Still, 98. Even block is high, 75. Shot contest, 96. Hustle, 98. Lateral quickness, which means he can slide back and forth in front of you, 97. The position average is at 8. And his is almost maxed out. Don't waste y'all time on Kawhi Leonard, man. And then, not to mention, I'm a shooting guard anyways. Danny Green got the clamps as well. He got gold defensive stopper. He got gold pick dodgers. The, the Raptors are dangerous. They're dangerous. Then, they still got Serge Ibaka. Hold on. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. He got rim protector on silver. He ain't got defensive stopper this year like he did last year. But he got a chase down artist on silver as well. Then they got Valencia Yunus. You know what I'm saying? He's just a big body down there. A big body. So, I'm standing away from the Raptors as well, man. Definitely stay away from the Raptors. Now, the Rockets. Chris Paul, if you're a point guard, he has the clamps. Defensive stopper on goal. You know he got pickpocket on goal. He led the league in steals, I feel like, a couple times, a few times. But I know he, I feel like he did lead the league at least once. Pick dodger on goal. Staying away. P.J. Tucker, man, defensive stopper on silver. He got the clamps somewhat, too. So, go against him at your own risk, man. I'm just letting you know. I'm not, I got to worry about James Harden. He's not really a defender, but you know what I'm saying? So I really ain't got too much to worry about. But if you're a point guard, small forward, maybe you want you maybe don't want to play. You definitely don't want to play the Rockets if you're a point guard. But small forward, you probably can get away with it. Spurs, I'm playing the Spurs. But DeMar DeRozan is one of those players without the defensive stopper badges that kind of gives me problems. I think it's because he's so athletic and he's 6'7". So he kind of like offsets my the, the small amount of athleticism that I have. He's just one of those few players, you know what I'm saying? The Suns, I'm playing the Suns. They don't, they don't have nobody that I'm too concerned with, man, honestly. Uh, the Thunder, I'm not playing the Thunder. Andre Roberson, man. For some reason, 76 overall perimeter defender, he's clamping up. Defensive stopper, pig dodger, I cannot get past Andre Roberson for some reason. Keep in mind, I am a sharp shooting shot creator, so I'm not the fastest player in the world. But Andre Roberson has the clamps. On top of Paul George, Paul George is clamping up. Defensive stopper. Pickpocket go like Paul George, 6'9. He's already long, he's already hard to get around. They're clamping up. Then they got Russell Westbrook, who might have it on like bronze or something, if he has it at all, which he does. So I'm not playing them at all. I'm a shooting. I'm definitely not playing them as a shooting guard. As a center, maybe you can play him, but then they got Steven Adams, rim protector on goal. Like, if you're a slasher, just don't play against this team. Like, I don't. Don't. They're all dropping back. All four of them are dropping badges pretty much on you. So just don't don't waste your time, man. Timberwolves, Jimmy Butler, he's one of those, bro. He's one of those you got to stay away from, man. You cannot get around Jimmy Butler. I do not care. I de defensive stopper, you can go left, right as much as you want to. You can set as many screens as you want to. He's running through those, bro. 
It's like they don't even exist. You're not even putting a body on them. His pick dodger is immaculate. His pick pocket is great. His uh, defensive stopper dropping all the badges. I'm staying away from Jimmy Butler, man. Now, where is, uh? let me see where Carl Towns is, man. Carl Towns. He does, let's see. He ain't really got no defensive badges, so y'all should be straight on that, man. Y'all shouldn't have too much to worry about Carl Anthony Towns, man. Uh, Trailblazers. I'm playing the Trailblazers. Well, they got Alpha Rock Aminu, but he doesn't have, he has it on bronze. We plan to get, we plan to get the Trailblazers, man. We plan to get them. The Warriors. Now, fortunately for me, I'm in my second season. Klay Thompson is on my team. I do not have to worry about him. But let's take a look. Perimeter D goes in order from best to worst. Klay Thompson is third. He's third on the team. And he's an elite defender with gold defensive stopper. Gold pick dodger. And he's third and he clamps up and he bangs threes, which is a deadly combination in my career. These are the type of players you do not want to play against. People who clamp up and bang threes. Klay Thompson is one of them. Then they got Andre Iguodala, defensive stopper on goal. Then they got Draymond Green, defensive stopper, pick dodger, and rim protector on goal. I'm not playing against the Warriors. Now, I'm sit I sim these games against teams like this, but when it's in the playoffs, you have to play the game. You have to either play the game or sim out. It way after you start the game. And I want to win, so I have to play the game because it's not a good chance you're going to beat the Warriors if you just keep simming out from the beginning. Then they still got KD, Curry, and all these other players you got to worry about. So. I'm definitely staying away from Sam in the Warriors game, no problem. The Wizards, I'll play the Wizards, man. They already have nobody that I feel like going to clam me up at shooting guard or small forward, so I'm good on that, man. So that's pretty much all the ter current NBA teams in the my career. The players you should stay away from. If I miss somebody, make sure y'all comment down in the below in the comment section. If it's somebody to be clamping, if, if it's somebody that's one of those players who just clamp you up, even though they ain't got the badges, let us know down below because we need to know, man. I'm trying to help y'all make y'all my career games easier. Tell y'all who to play against, tell y'all who not to play against, man. And maybe next video, I might drop a video on the players that will really help you out if they're on your team. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button. Till next time, man. I'm out.